Okay, this is the plan. I plan to run a beverage across the front yard. This will be where the terminating resistor is. I'm planning to use a 165 ohm resistor. Uh, this particular box and resistor was at the northeast uh, end of my uh, 220 foot beverage up in New Kent County. This is pretty much all there is to the beverage. Uh, I'm going to have a 165 ohm resistor in the box right at this wooden stake. At the uh, far end, or the feed point, I'm going to have a 4 to 1 transformer which is uh, in this box. And I'll be connecting the two with uh, this very small tough insulated wire not very big on the uh, transformer box I've got an SO239 to connect my ca cable most likely it's going to be 50 ohm cable uh, this month I'm getting set up for the 2017 uh, uh, CQ160 contest uh, this is where the beverage wire is going to go and this is where the ground wire is going to go to the uh, the ground rod I've got a drive one more ground rod near the uh, wooden stake uh, to connect the uh, connect the resistor to and at the far end I've already got a ground rod driven for the uh, for the transformer okay I've almost finished driving the ground rod for the uh, beverage I'm going to use a 4 to 1 transformer you can see the SO239 connector for the coax and you can see a wing nut on one side and a wing nut on the other side now one will be connected to the beverage wire the other one will go to the ground rod and this is what the inside of the uh, transformer box looks like I got the primary going to the SO239 connector and the two leads from the secondary uh, going to the uh, screws on the side of the box uh, so we can connect the antenna and the ground wires with, uh, with wing nuts. And this is uh, my existing uh, beverage transformer box. This has been uh, down for about two years now. And this is what it looks like uh, on the inside. Um, I have another box with the cover removed sitting on top of the uh, one that's in use right now.